whilst you've been in hospital, you've been receiving physiotherapy generally on a twice daily basis. And the, um, the focus of our early physiotherapy, particularly whilst in hospital, is about functional mobility and safety. Um, so we've been doing things like um, uh, getting in and out of bed, um, uh, mobility exercises, walking with crutches, um, up and over stairs, um, um, those sorts of activities that you need to be able to um, safely do by yourself um, once you leave hospital. So once you've mastered those, then, then generally that's a, a pretty good um, indicator that you're, you're ready to leave hospital safely. Now when you go home, you do um, require ongoing physiotherapy. Um, and so you would have been given some exercises uh, from the hospital and continue those exercises in the in the interim period uh, before you get to go and see your home community physiotherapist. So most people would attend their home physiotherapist probably on a, a once a week basis. Um, sometimes it might be a little bit more frequent depending on the circumstance or maybe a little less. Um, physiotherapy is progressive um, and so what your physiotherapist will do is to be able to assess your progress um, during the week and have a look at your overall function and mobility and then prescribe to you uh, ongoing exercises that are a little bit more challenging for you to be able to conduct to be able to get um, faster recovery and function and strength. Physiotherapy in the early post-operative period after joint replacement surgery should really focus upon uh, functional mobility and strength exercises. So that should form the bulk of what you're doing with the physiotherapist, along with um, useful functional advice um, in relation to your recovery process. What I don't want you to do with your physiotherapist um, is any activities that involve um, stretching and uh, excessive mobility. So even though your hip feels stiff, I don't want you to do deep stretching activities with your physiotherapist at this juncture. Indeed, it's not helpful, it's not useful, and there is some degree of potential risk associated with those um, styles of exercise, particularly in the, in the early post-operative period. The other thing I don't want you to do with physiotherapist is um, any deep tissue massage. Um, and definitely not any needle-based acupuncture therapies anywhere near the wound um, and uh, because these sorts of activities do place the wound at risk whilst it's still healing. If any questions arise with respect to your uh, recovery protocols and physiotherapy in the post-surgical period, please um, give our rooms a call and uh, we'll be able to give you some advice.